So stem cells for shoulder problems. Uh, what type of sh shoulder problems are you, are you taking care of with stem cells? What type of stem cells are you using? And what's the process like? Stem cells are pretty commonly used for shoulder problems uh, like rotator cuff injuries and other bursitis, etc. We also use PRP in certain cases, but majority of them, if you have a significant problem, stem cells is the way to go. And we take the bone marrow aspirate uh, as for the stem cells, and that is where we get the stem cells from. Like we take 60 ml of bone marrow, and then they, we spin them down, and we get a small amount of stem cells, about 6 ml to 10 ml. Okay. Then we inject Is that, that. millions of stem cells oh, yes. we're talking millions, about? millions, millions. Millions and millions. Of, so, so you go into the bone area, like right. in the hip, right. like an inject the needle, pull out the stem cells, put it into a machine or something like that? Not the stem cells. We are pulling out the whole thing like... The, uh, the marrow. Like crude oil. Okay. So you, then you refine it. So take the, take it out and then put it in a machine. So you keep spinning and removing the stuff which is not necessary and eventually you get the small amount which is the stem cells. Okay. And it's still a bone marrow concentrate because we really can't say exactly that all of them are stem cells. So there is some marrow okay. and other tissues there, but they're all growth harm, growth uh, factors. So they improve the growth regeneration process. They help the replacement process. So tell me this, if somebody has, like you could see it, a torn rotator cuff, you inject the tear with stem cells. That's correct. Then can you do a before and after photo and see how it grew back? Yes, really? you can. Yeah, there are many case reports where they have done that and it comes back normal and that is observed in the knee joint. It is also observed in the discs actually where there was so much disc degeneration. You inject it and degeneration goes away, disc comes back to normal. Because they say, you know, I've had orthopedic surgeons on the program that say, you know, shoulder, you know, shoulder surgery not a lot of great outcomes. Is this one of those things where you could possibly even avoid future shoulder surgery? If you catch you, them early? Yeah, you can, but there's not that much literature as there is for knee surgery. Okay. So, so knee surgery has been well studied, so. So somebody with a knee problem, severe knee problem, and what are the common knee problems that people are getting surgery for, and how are you using stem cells in the knees? So, most common problem patients are getting the knee problems is the degenerative arthritis, which leads to the total knee replacement. Whereas other things, there are ligament tear, ACL, anterior cruciate ligament, or PCL, or medial collateral ligament. These ligaments can develop tears in them. Okay. So those are somewhat difficult uh, ones, but you can still inject the stem cells and try to see if they can repair and the, they regenerate instead of repair. Repair means scar tissue. Regenerate means the same tissue coming back. To grow, to grow. To and, grow. and you're able to grow things Regenerate, like that? Regenerate, yes. And you're seeing that? Yes. And you say there's a lot of published, I mean, they've done a lot of studies on these, in right. particular that is the with most stem cells. Studied. That is the most studied. Like we have published articles in our pain physician journal, many of them, and there are there is huge, humongous amounts of literature for the, on that. So. Okay, now, the stem cells you're using, you're getting them from the hip. That's correct. From the bone marrow. Bone marrow aspirate. That is what and we you, call. you uh, treat these stem cells, I guess spin them or do, doing whatever you do, and then you inject them right into the... Right. We so, take so these the, are the most powerful, potent stem cells is from your marrow? For a human body, safely available. That's okay. correct. So we take about 60 ml of so aspirate and then spin in them. Eventually it comes to a small amount, which is about 6 to 10 ml, depending on if both shoulders or both knees are involved, then we have to divide it and inject. But if it is only one, it is easy to do. And the body just figures it out on how to rebuild the damaged tissues. Yeah, these are very nice soldiers, so. so. You call them soldiers? <laughs> yes. Is that right? Why is that? That is how they are described. They so. just go to the area right. and get they the bad guys. They, what they call is homing. Wherever there is inflammation, the phenomenon is called homing when there is an inflammation or a disease process going on, they go and attack that, like a soldier goes and attacks Isn't the enemy. That right? <laughs> now insurance does not cover this. Uh, we know that you're about half the cost of what, what the so-called leaders in, in stem cells are doing. 
is, is that by design that you wanted to be less expensive than everybody else? I wanted to be more affordable to the patients and okay. uh, so well we do a lot of other things and it's not just for money this is not the only thing and if it helps the patients and if it improves their quality of life that is the best thing we can have. And you had a friend that flew out for it was scheduled for a knee replacement or told That's he correct. needed a re knee replacement. Yes my best friend he was my classmate in medical school and we were roommates and he was having knee problems and he went and visited the most famous orthopedic surgeons in India. They told him that he needed a total knee surgery and he did not want to have it. It is so much that his knee was bending he couldn't even walk properly. Valgus deformity. Okay. So we did the stem cell injection and he's doing great now.